DMT or NN dimethyltryptamine is found in a number of plants that are endogenous to South America. The Sonoran Desert Toad is known to have 5-MeO DMT in its venom. This drug is molecularly similar to DMT, it is 4-6 to six times more powerful than DMT and can cause serotonin syndrome at higher doses. It is also known to cause hypothermia at lower doses in rats and hyperthermia at higher doses. When consumed with a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, it could be deadly. Through extensive research, it is proposed that DMT is endogenous and originally starts off as tryptophan. Through the action of enzymes, it is converted to tryptamine, then to NMT and then to the final product of DMT. DMT is structurally similar to serotonin. Serotonin is a neurochemical and is associated with controlling mood, appetite, sleep, memory and learning. The drug acts as a serotonin agonist and binds to many serotonin receptors. In particular, the 5-HT2A receptor, which is linked to the psychedelic activity of the drug. It can also act as an agonist to the metabotrophic glutamate receptor 2, which is also said to contribute to the psychedelic effects. Research proposing that DMT is endogenously produced in the human brain has also led to the speculations regarding its role in certain physiological and neurological states. In the 1960s and 70s, it was proposed that DMT was involved in psychosis and schizophrenia. This hypothesis was developed from the comparisons of the blood and urine samples of patients who had schizophrenia and control subjects. However, the research was deemed inconclusive. DMT was also linked with proteins that help promote the maintenance of long-term memory and regeneration of neurons. The drug has the ability to bind to organelles such as mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum and could possibly have the ability to even kill certain cancer cells. In 2013, researchers found DMT in the pineal glands of rodents. In the following year, researchers have stated that the biosynthesis of DMT takes place in the melanoma cell line. Dr. Rick Strassman believes that DMT is our spirit molecule. He claims that DMT is released while we dream and furthermore in large quantities during traumatic experiences. However, these claims have not yet been proven. DMT is typically inhaled. A light dose is considered to be 10 to 20 milligrams, a more common dose is 20 to 40 milligrams, and a high dose is somewhere between 40 to 60 milligrams. When DMT is inhaled, it lasts around 10 to 15 minutes and can begin to work within a minute. Although the duration is short, many subjects have stated it feels much longer, with some even expressing that it feels like an eternity. Subjects who have taken DMT have also claimed to have visited different realms and universes, with time and space no longer being a restriction. Often reports of meeting extraterrestrials and even God have been described. Once the drug wears off, the person is left rather confused and in some circumstances can only remember small parts of the experience. It is often the case that the person finds it difficult to put into words what an experience at DMT can be like. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.